Hey everybody, John Burroughs here, AlarmSystemStore.com, here to talk to you about some Honeywell keypads today. Uh, we're going to be discussing the differences between the 6160 and the 6150 keypads. Uh, the 6160 is an alphanumeric keypad, the 6150 is a fixed English keypad. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take you over to the table and show you the differences between these two and uh, hopefully you learn a little bit on the way. All right, follow me over. All right, so here we are at the table uh, with our two different versions of the uh, 6100 series, the older versions, the 6160 right here, which is an alphanumeric display, and the 6150 right here, which is a fixed English keypad. Um, you know, there are differences between these two. We get a lot of questions about, uh, you know, what is the, what are the major differences, basically. The 6160 alphanumeric, um, as you can see here on the screen, it, because it's an alphanumeric, it shows you alpha characters and uh, it will show you numbers as well. Uh, a lot easier to program with this one too because you can see everything in your programming sections. This one, the 6150, as you can see, it's pretty much blank right now. It's not displaying the alpha characters like it did on the 6160. Uh, it does say AC up here in the corner. Now the 6150 will have some fixed words for like arming state and some trouble conditions, but you're not going to get a full alpha display like you will on the 6160. Um, the 6160, the size difference as you can see here plainly, um, 6160 is 5 and 5 sixteenths high by 7 and 3 eighths wide by 1 and 3 sixteenths deep. And then your 6150, it will be four and seven eighths inch high by six and a quarter wide by one inch deep. So the 6150 is also uh, a little smaller than the 6160. Now with the 6160 and the 6150, they do make uh, all three versions, you know, you can get the regular uh, keypad, the one with the built-in uh, wireless receiver or the voice an announcing uh, keypad in the 6160 or the 6150. Uh, the 6160s are a little bit more popular. Um, I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't mind having a 6150 as a secondary as long as I have a 6160 to program with. Um, I'll show you why here in a second. Now, as you can see here, it says disarmed ready to arm on our 6160. I have a contact back here that we learned into this system so we could show you the differences in the uh, display. Let me get it better so you can better see it here. I'm going to trip this zone. And as you can see, it reads out Fault 09 front door. Now that's on your 6160. Now on your 6150, as you can see here, it says not ready 09. So you're not going to get the rich alpha numeric display on the 6150. Um, Let's go ahead and put this back here and that will clear the fault out. Disarmed ready to arm on the 6160 and then it goes back to a blank screen on the 6150. Now I'm going to take you into programming here um, so you can see what it looks like on each, pro, uh, each keypad. You press your installer code and 800 to get in. And as you can see on the 6160, <clears throat> it says installer code 20. On the 6150, you're just going to get 20, and that's it. Um, let's go ahead and go to a, a zone uh, se a section. Let's go to the section for zone programming. On the 6160, you will see set to confirm, zero for no, one for yes. On the 6150, nothing. So that's why we always recommend for people to get a 60, at least one 6160 with their uh, hardwired alarm system because it makes programming a lot easier. You're going to be able to see your programming sections, all the stuff in your programming sections. Let's go ahead and go deeper into this section and show you what I'm talking about here. Um, no. And then it will say enter zone number or 00, zero equals quit and then it has a flashing cursor in 01 on the 6160. On the 6150 it just shows 01 not quite sure what that means if you've never done this before so you'll be pretty much programming blind 
Um, either keypad will work on a Vista series system. You can use them in conjunction with each other. You can get a 6160 for your main keypad and then 6150 for your secondaries. Um, or you can use 6160 throughout your entire system. You can have them a, a 6160 as every keypad. Kind of de depends on how you want to set it up, what your uh, price points are. Um, you can always also use these keypads in conjunction with the tuxedo keypads or the 6280 touchscreens. Um, mix and match your keypads, folks, but whatever you do, make sure you have at least one 6160 so you can program your system. It makes it a lot easier, trust me. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, both keypads have the same keys, they have the same function keys. It's just all in the display. Uh, if you have any other questions about these, just you know, make sure you give us a call. But it's been great being here with you guys. Thanks a lot. We're going to head back over so I can say some closing words. All right, we're back. And as you can see, there are a few differences between the two keypads. We usually recommend the 6160 alphanumeric keypad for programming your Vista Honeywell Vista series system. So uh, definitely take that into consideration. You know, at least have one of those when you're going to program. Um, if you have any more questions about these keypads or what they can do, give us a call, 888-811-0727, and uh, choose the technical support menu option, option number two on the phone menu. Those guys will be glad to help you. My name is John Burroughs. Thanks for being with me today, guys. We'll talk to you soon.